Would you like fries with that? McDonald's Australia wants food its staff eat considered in pay talks. I'm sorry, what? You want to take like, like those nasty fries out of their paycheck? You're gonna give them health issues and you want them to pay you to eat your fries? Disgusting. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Entitled People Show. My name is Charlotte Dobre, and we're gonna look at some choosy beggars being entitled. Cause it's been a minute and I miss it. Don't lie, I know you miss it too. Miss you boo. It's a nice sound. Wait, let's get ready. Can, can we, let's just, ah, adjust. <sighs> If you wanna hear someone's life story, instead of actually receiving assistance, this is the place for you. Dear Blank, I'm sorry you were disappointed with your visit to our store. <clears throat> I am the person who asked you if you needed assistance in the lawn and garden aisle. I'm the person who carried a bag of fertilizer to the register for you. Even though I had already told you that I would help you out, you ordered another worker to carry out part of your purchase. The other worker, not wanting you to think that he was unwilling to help you, felt he should explain to you that he had a weight limit for lifting due to a chemo port in his chest. That's when you told him that you didn't care about his effing cancer. Seeing your young children exposed to your ensuing profanity laced verbal tirade, well done, I love that. Well, chain of words there, was shocking to all who witnessed it. I'm sorry you were having a bad day, but your disregard for other people as well as for your own children was truly appalling. That's embarrassing. See, the thing about entitled people is they, they based on this, this entitled person knows that they were being entitled because they didn't share the rest of the story because that would make them sound like a right? Because they were a that's why that sounds like that way, because because they were. So clearly they know they f***ed up, but they still went on the website to uh, complain, as it were. Speak to the manager, as it were. Hi, I'd like to book JB Barrington for a night I'm putting on at blank in London. Unfortunately, due to costs of venue hire, etc., there is no money in it. <clears throat> that was an amber alert. Was it an Amber Alert or, a, or an Entitlement Alert? Can you imagine if you just had an app that could like sense entitlement and just like buzz like that whenever you're talking to an entitled person? <laughs> I would love that so much. Oh God. All right, mm, that's sketchy. Hope they find the kid. Okay. Unfortunately, due to cost of venue hire, et cetera, there's no money in it, but I can provide some drinks and food. Is JB available for Thursday, March 19th? I can be contacted via blank or blank. Brian, what do you do for a living? I'm a painter and a decorator, why? Can you come and do my hall stairs and landing? There's no money in it, but I can make you some cups of tea and a prem buddy. That's not the same. It's exactly the same, Brian. Exactly the same. It is. And that is a wonderful way to respond. Nine times out of 10, they're probably not gonna take you up on it. You know why? Because they're a juicy beggar that doesn't work for free. All right, we got a job posting. Research and development internship that requires a senior MS or PhD candidate, knowledge of antibody-based assays, cancer genomics, gene expression, and drug pathway interactions that influence sensitivity and resistance of tumors. Experience with analyzing sequencing data. And according to this person that circled it, a demonstrated publication record, which is worth 50 to $60,000. Pay from $20 per hour, eight to 10% pay cut, more if industry pharma, for an intern. And they prefer a doctorate. Is this what the job market is like right now, guys? Just make some YouTube videos. No, don't. Honestly, don't. It's a lot harder than you think to be, to get YouTube to pay attention to your videos. It is, just letting you know. But that's, that's, that's tough, man. I feel for you guys. Not wanna be part of this job market right now. Come work for me. I will also probably only pay you $20 an hour, but that's just... <laughs> Starting, $20 an hour starting. Hello world, my first look at my forever home. Hashtag countdown to Mars. So all those millions spent and all you can produce is a grainy black and white photo. Yes. What is this? What is this? What did you produce, huh? What are you producing? A really dumb tweet? I have to pay. My bio literally says DM to buy, buy Prince. Oh, LMAO, people actually pay you for that? Is there anything you're handing out without payment? Oh yeah, absolutely, wait. Nice, yeah. I mean, normally you wouldn't give this kind of response except for the fact that this person's like, oh God, people actually pay you for your work? Oof, 
sorry for them. Boo for you. I forgot to mention that I'm famous, or at least I'm about to be. Can I get a free guitar or an artist's endorsement? First off, congrats on all your success. It's great to be paid for doing something you love, isn't it? I feel the same way. Cheeky, cheeky little bugger. Ooh, a photographer one, I love these. I love these so much. Any photographers watching right now know exactly why. My school's looking for a photographer for our Christmas party, but the thing is you're going to pay us. You pay us to photograph people. Then you can use our party as a market or something. Am I making sense? You're not making any sense at all. You want me to pay you to take photos of your party? Your school Christmas party. gonna be a no for me, dog. It's gonna be a hell no. Hell no! Is this actually what it's become? This is what it's come to? It's not just like, oh, we invite you to come take photos for free and we'll give you like a free ticket or something. I've done that. I really wanted to go to like a show and like I exchanged, you know, like a $500 ticket to a music festival for free photography services only because I really wanted to go to the show. But um, I've never been told that I have to pay someone in order to take photos of them. I offer you to pay me to come take my photo. People are crazy. The $1,000 bonuses were given as a way to thank blank ISD staff for the work during the pandemic. How much should homeschool parents get since they still paid taxes, likely worked or ran a business, but also educated their own children? All right, well, I actually don't really know if I can comment on this because I don't really know what it's like to have to homeschool children. I don't know if that's entirely incorrect, to be honest. It depends on how much work the teachers are actually still doing. But are they in school or are they just doing it over Zoom? Yes. I don't know. I, don't, I haven't been homeschooling anybody, but I hear that it's kind of a pain in the butt. I don't think that you should be getting a bonus, but I do think that maybe, um, well, if it's free education, yeah, you pay taxes. You're not gonna be getting a tax break, buddy. Your taxes are gonna go up. <laughs> That's just kind of how it's gonna go. I don't know. I don't know if that one's entitled. That's just my opinion. Most of these videos are just my opinion. You let me know down in the comments if you agree. If you don't, that's fine. Just leave a dislike like you normally do. The 33 people that always dislike. Love you. Thanks for leaving a, a view and you probably watched like a couple of ads. <laughs> thanks. My dad thanks you. My daughter worked at Sephora and once when the checkout line was really long, a woman cut in front of everyone saying, I need to go first because I just know I'm spending more money today than a lot of you. That's not how it works. I love how I made the same face as this guy. <laughs> love it. Slide me that effing PC, JK, JK. But I really need it though. So you should slide it. I'll review it on my Minecraft YouTube channel and give you guys good feedback. No, but I'll add you to our public wall of shame. <laughs> nice. But I have a YouTube channel, send me things. I literally just sent an email like that. <laughs> Looking over wedding day. Five hours will not be enough to cover the entire pictures that I want. We unfortunately cannot stretch our budget for photography anymore. I wanted to ask if you guys would be willing to stay an additional three hours for full coverage of the day of. So what's, what's in it for me? Sorry, is there anything in it for me? Nothing? Let me think about it. No. I don't really like beards. LMAO, why would you swipe on me then? Well, you can always shave it. LMAO, I won't though, the beard stays. You won't shave for me? No, I won't. Why not? I don't like guys with beards. Sucks to suck then, I'm not shaving it for you. I guess you'll have to miss out on me tomorrow night then. Those who would shave the beard for blank deserve neither the beard nor the blank. Ben Franklin, probably. I like, I like, listen, I like some scruff. I like some scruff on my guys. It's cute. It's kind of like male contouring, you know? Have you guys seen that TikTok trend where there's that filter where you, you get rid of like the beard on your man? Most of the time they don't look good without it. Men look good with beards and scruff. They just do. Hey girl, hope you're good. So I hope this isn't too much trouble, but I started this brand blank, a clothing brand, and the username is taken. Is there any way you could change it? Like just add a number or an extra letter or something? It would mean the absolute world to me. I have everything ready to launch soon, and this is the only thing holding me back to post. Beautiful name, by the way. How about I pay you $20? I really, really need the name. $30? Anything? Please? Girl, you alive? I'll pay you $40. It's your Finsta. Help a girl out. Hi, no thank you. Seriously, lol, as soon as I get the brand registered, I can legally get the name from you, but all right. We'll just have to register the name then. I'll have my lawyer deal with Instagram. Women supporting women. Apparently, there's no such thing. Lol, lel. I don't know if it works like that. 
Why are you offering money if you could just get your lawyer to get me to change it, you know? What's your best price? 10,750, 5,000. Are you high? Are you? That's less than half of what I just said my minimum is. Needs glow plugs. One, which costs 50 bucks. <laughs> I'll do it for less than half of what you asked. My final offer. I'd pay 50 for the bed frame. I bet you would. If you can't sell it for that heinous price, you know where to find me. Somewhere with your mattress on the floor, I'm sure. <laughs> You're right. That was effing rude. I live in a house <laughs> hole. I'm just always looking for a good bargain. Sure, sure, sure you do. And you also sleep on the floor. Hi, is this still available? Can you do $30, please? Yes, it's available. I can do 35, but it's pickup only. Friend, this is for a child from Venezuela who asked me to buy it. Please make $30. It is not for me. It is for a child, a child, a poor child. It is a noble favor, a child who has been saving time to buy games for himself. Nintendo, please. I'm sorry, buddy, but 35 is more than fair considering what comparable items are going for. Where it's going or who it's going to doesn't involve me. You don't have to say that. You have to have empathy in life. Good deeds are returned to you. Anyway, I will give the child your best offer and let you know if I can buy it. I haven't said anything out of line and honestly, at this point, I don't think I want to meet up with you for an exchange. Best of luck to you and your friend. You are a rat with good manners and a Zelda game as well. Don't forget that. I don't even ignore people like you. Have a great day. I have a game to play. Ew, self shame Friday, here I come. Okay, so this was posted in a ring shaming Facebook group. I hate this. Found this in the boyfriend's nightstand, not a fan. Please roast and then tell me how to tactfully say no. You need to get something different. What if it's not meant for you? It shouldn't be. All right, we got one more. One more, that's all you get. All right, I don't want to hear none of this. One more. No, that's enough. Cool, is $25 okay? It was 800, brand new. Bro, all it is 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 metal and plastic and rubber put together. $25 is more than enough. Seriously, dude? $25 is more than enough. You're <laughs> scamming children. What? No, I'm not. Uh, I'm not. Yeah, no wonder. That's why, that's why this little kid's entitled. Cause he's a kid. Kids are entitled, you know? They are. They're little spoiled brats most of the time. Alrighty guys, those were some entitled choosing beggars getting shamed on social media. I hope you loved it. Should we keep doing these entitled videos? Do you guys enjoy them or not? I feel like they make people very angry most of the time. But that's okay. I like to be angry. 